Okay guys, we are all thinking it, so let's just say it, another reboot? It sometimes feels exhausting that big networks just keep revamping old films, but we can't deny that a lot of them get us actually super excited, especially when the film is full of new talent. The 2019 live-action film Aladdin has everyone talking about its stars and we're all wondering, why haven't we heard about these people before? The character of Princess Jasmine is played by Naomi Scott, who we've rarely seen on the big screen before. We're taking an inside look at why Disney's Aladdin star Naomi Scott is seriously underrated in Hollywood. These big-budget Hollywood reboots are seriously bringing up the most nostalgic feelings in all of us. But one star of Disney's Aladdin reboot, Naomi Scott, has more of us having a hard time remembering. Who is this actress? Will she do Princess Jasmine justice? Have we seen her in anything else before? Naomi is seemingly a newcomer to the big screen, but she's already being regarded as the next big movie star and an inspiration to young women everywhere. And while many in the industry are naming her as one of Hollywood's fastest rising stars, fans have not reached the same consensus yet. Let's take a look at how Naomi Scott found her way into some of 2019's biggest films. While Naomi feels like a total newcomer to the big screen, this British actress has actually been in this business for a while. You might be having one of those, I swear I've seen her in something before moments. Well, it's because you probably have. If you remember the Disney Channel movie Lemonade Mouth, you probably remember breakout stars like Hayley Kiyoko and Bridget Mendler. In case you missed it, Naomi Scott was in it too, making music right alongside this teen band. As the character Mohini, Naomi got to play bass and showcase one of her other talents, singing. Yep, before venturing into the world of acting, Naomi was singing in the choir at her local church. She says her roots are in singing gospel music, but she moved into writing her own songs when she was just 15 years old. Since 2014, she's been able to independently release a handful of EPs and singles that showcase her personal style. When it comes to choosing between acting and singing, Naomi sees these two as a part of her creatively and doesn't see herself picking one over the other. She told the Huffington Post, quote, I really thoroughly enjoy both and I'm really blessed in a sense that I'm able to do acting and alongside that I can keep relatively independent with my music and give myself time and space to explore what I really want. Naomi has proven that she really can handle both as she's continuously produced her music independently all while managing an acting career. Somewhere in between her EP Promises and the single Vows, she managed to find time to work on a different reboot, Power Rangers. Yes, this multi-talented artist showed her best karate skills as the Pink Ranger in the 2017 remake. Alongside her was a star-studded cast including Bryan Cranston, Elizabeth Banks, and Bill Hader to name a few. She also was working with other breakout stars like Becky G and Dacre Montgomery of Stranger Things. The film had so much less campy moments, which the Power Rangers franchise is known for. Instead, it took more of a Michael Bay Transformers approach and made this group of masked rangers super epic. So why didn't we suddenly start seeing Naomi's name all over Hollywood? Maybe it's the curse of a bad Rotten Tomatoes review, with Power Rangers getting only a 49% and the film being called lackluster by critics. Ouch. This reboot should have been a huge hit. Another semi-flop for Naomi was some work she did with the one and only Steven Spielberg, which also doesn't make any sense, right? It's Steven freaking Spielberg. The show was Terra Nova, a dystopian sci-fi drama produced by the critically acclaimed director. Naomi played Maddie, and the series centered around the Shannons, just your average family living in the year 2149 when the planet is dying? Well, after airing in 2011, it was canceled after only one season. So what's the deal? Why is this multi-talented star not getting the right kind of attention in Hollywood? Some backlash came about when it was time for the cast of the Aladdin reboot to be announced. The search for the roles of Aladdin and Princess Jasmine had been a tumultuous one. It had everyone waiting with bated breath to find out how Hollywood was going to do with the high task of casting two people of Middle Eastern descent. Within hours of the cast list being posted, Twitter was ablaze with comments about Naomi's heritage. Most of the public was just relieved the cast wasn't white. However, Naomi is biracial and of mixed British and Indian descent. Many saw her casting as Disney reinforcing the idea that South Asian and Middle Eastern people are interchangeable. We do want to remind everyone that Aladdin is set in the fictional kingdom of Agrabah, which technically has no real geographic significance based on its name. However, the film states it is near the Jordan River, and you might remember how it opens with a song called Arabian Nights. 
Also, the names Aladdin and Jasmine both originate in the Middle East, deriving from Arabic and Persian roots. So it's totally warranted that fans wanted to see some true Middle Eastern representation in this film. On the other side of that coin, some people defended Naomi's casting, saying that Disney intertwined Middle Eastern and South Asian cultures in the original 1992 film. Those nods to India were by giving Jasmine a tiger named Raja and possibly basing the Sultan's palace off of the Taj Mahal. By these standards, casting Naomi, who is of South Asian descent, wasn't too far off the path. So how did Naomi feel about all this heat? Well, she decided to take the high road and not snap back. As a mixed race person, she said that she knows what it's like to be considered too white or not white enough. Naomi told W Magazine, quote, my responsibility is to the character, end quote, adding that she's proud of the diversity of the entire cast. And when it comes to avoiding trolls on social media who deem her not good enough for these parts, Naomi said that it's still quite difficult not to care. She said, quote, it's hard, man. I'm not going to lie to you and say I never look at Twitter to see what people are saying about me, end quote. However, Naomi didn't take this role without thinking. She knew that people would have plenty to say about her and she didn't take the responsibility of the job lightly. Naomi spoke with Vogue magazine for her cover story on how she told the filmmakers why she was accepting the role of Jasmine. Naomi said, quote, I saw her as a young woman, not a teenager, with a mature strength that can cut you down. So I said to them, just to let you know, I want to play her strong. And if that's that's not what you're looking for, that's okay, but it's not for me." End quote. I mean, this girl is not your typical idea of a Disney princess or a damsel in distress. Naomi clearly has no intentions of letting Jasmine be seen as anything other than a, quote, boss lady, end quote. Naomi and director Guy Ritchie wanted to flesh out the strong and empowered traits in the character. That's right, Naomi herself worked with the director and wouldn't back down until she knew the character was in good hands. This is why a new plotline has been introduced that has her not only rebelling against out-of-touch traditions, but also standing up to Jafar in defense of her kingdom. Naomi said that she was thrilled that the producers and directors were on the same wavelength as her, which also led to a whole new song being written for Jasmine to sing. Naomi says the song is, quote, basically her declaration that she's not going to be silenced, which, as we all know, is a message that's very important right now. This kind of bravado that Naomi has is gaining her a sharp reputation in Hollywood as a woman who gets what she deserves. Naomi seems to have a lot of fans in the industry, but maybe not so many in the general public. Like we said before, a lot of people weren't convinced she was the right choice for Jasmine and that she needs more time in Hollywood before everyone starts calling her a superstar. Some fans on Twitter feel that Naomi may be great in magazine interviews, but a little overly excitable in person. After her visit on the Graham Norton show in May of 2019, the internet couldn't stop talking about how Naomi was, well, a bit much. The top build on the late night talk show were, oh, just a few huge stars, Octavia Spencer, Kevin Hart, and Naomi's Aladdin co-star, Will Smith. So Naomi, why were you being so extra? Some tweets claimed Naomi was out of place, a little too loud, and generally just, quote, cringy AF, end quote. Others were upset by the number of comments Naomi had for the other actors who ranked so much higher than her when it comes to experience in Hollywood. Maybe Naomi was just so excited to be on a show with such legends that she forgot some of her table manners? However, in moments where the stakes aren't so high and there isn't a studio audience around, Naomi is seen as quite charming. So what does this girl have to do to stop being so underrated? Maybe star in another reboot. That's right, this queen of remakes has another one in the works. This one is actually a reboot of a reboot, technically. The newest version of Charlie's Angels is set to release in 2019, making it a huge year for Naomi Scott. The movie reboot is being directed by Elizabeth Banks, who Naomi worked with on Power Rangers, and they clearly hit it off. Although, maybe this one shouldn't be called a reboot. According to Elizabeth Banks, the new Charlie's Angels is a continuation that actually references the events of both the original original Charlie's Angels TV series and the two movies from the 2000s featuring Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, and Lucy Liu. It boasts a newer star-studded cast with Kristen Stewart, Ella Belinska, Noah Centineo, Sir Patrick Stewart, and more. And with this comes a certain sense of collaboration. Elizabeth Banks stresses the movie is really about teamwork. She said, quote, It was important to me to make a movie about women working together and supporting each other, and not make a movie about their romantic entanglements or their mother they don't call enough. End quote. What does Elizabeth Banks think of Naomi Scott's skills? Well, she cast Naomi and Charlie's Angel for that certain je ne sais quoi, but also because she feels Naomi is relatable. She said, quote, I wanted somebody who I felt the audience wants to root for. She's getting to be this every woman who's also very fun and very funny, end quote. 
So what do you think of Naomi and all these reboots? Do you think she's Hollywood's next big superstar? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're there, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great videos. Thanks for stopping by The Taco.